Just what group occupies the very pinnacle of the human rights hierarchy? Is it Islam or is it the LGBTQ community? Well, thanks to the Peel District School Board, we now have a definitive answer. <laughs> it's Islam, of course. You know, there's an amazing story brewing in Peel Region, which is located just west of Toronto. Just don't expect the media party to tell you what's really happening, though. You see, this month, many schools in Canada will be raising the rainbow flag to celebrate the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia. But as it stands now, that flag won't be raised at Peel Region schools. Why? Well, as the Globe and Mail reports, there have been concerns voiced about raising the rainbow flag. Gracious, concerns. Concerns by whom, you ask? Well, the story doesn't say, of course. That might be, you know, insensitive to some people that we must always be sensitive to. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and speculate. You see, the Peel District School Board is yet another school board that embraces Sharia. Last year, this school board, which is publicly funded and supposed to be secular and is supposed to be committed to a policy of gender equity, i.e. girls are equal to boys and women are equal to men, well, this school board permitted the establishment of gender apartheid mosques in its schools to accommodate Muslims who want to pray. So much for the separation of mosque and state, I guess. And so it is that on Fridays, the Muslim boys sit up front in these makeshift prayer rooms, whereas the girls are relegated to the back of the bus. Oh, and those girls on their periods, they have to stand way, way at the back, you see, because... They're considered unclean during this time of the month. And for those nosy parkers out there asking, how can the ringleaders tell if a girl is on her period? Sorry, folks, you really don't want to hear the answer to that query. And it gets worse. Whereas the prayers used to be read in English, a prudent idea if the imam starts going down that du rigueur path about, you know, killing the Jews and the infidels. Well, those prayers are now in Arabic. I wonder how many supervisory staffers at Peel District speak Arabic. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, though. Now, going back a year or so ago, there were indeed concerns about Sharia law coming to Peel Public Schools. Big-time concerns. In fact, we attended several Peel School Board meetings in which this topic was up for discussion. Those meetings were jam-packed and often... The police had to be called just to restore order. Here, check it out. It's hate, rape, pedophilia in your schools. You should be ashamed. You're Take it out of schools. That's a hate book. That's a book of hate. Shame on you. Shame on you, hypocrites. You're hypocrites. But hey, what do those parents know, folks? Bunch of dumb Hindus and Sikhs and Christians and Jews and Buddhists. Because the Peel Board basically told those concerned parents to, well, go to hell. Islam is the religion of peace, after all, and if we don't acquiesce to the hardliners, well, Islam can be the religion of we're going to blow you to pieces. So, yet again, might makes right because it is 2018. Which brings us to the here and now. The LGBTQ staff committee at the Peel District School Board said that in the fall, it had been led to believe that the pride flag would be raised in the schools. Yet the chair of the board, Janet McDougald, once again reiterated that she's heard concerns about that initiative. And whereas concerns about gender apartheid mosques were dismissed as the rantings of racists and bigots and Islamophobes, concerns about the LGBTQ community are, well, you know, maybe those concerns should be taken seriously, right? So as it stands now, the Peel Board will mull over the idea of raising those rainbow flags. Thanks for your input, folks. Have a nice day. In any event, I want to profess sincere thanks to Ms. McDougald, because when it comes to the ongoing file of dueling human rights, 
The top two contenders lately have been Islam and the LGBTQ community. But there can only be one identity group residing at the very top of the human rights totem pole. And thanks to Janet McDougald and all the other tall foreheads at the Peel District School Board, I think we now have a definitive answer. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the Rebel Live event on Saturday, June the 2nd. We have Katie Hopkins, Ezra Levant, John Cardillo, Sheila Gunn-Reed, so many other fantastic speakers. Please go to therebellive.com and buy your tickets today.